nanotechnology and art collide in a mind-bending new museum in Israel. At the Fetter Nanoscience and Art Museum, located inside Bar Ilan University's Institute of Nanotechnology and Advanced Materials, cutting-edge scientific research comes together with breathtaking contemporary art. The museum's launch exhibition is called New Languages, and it presents works that are a collaborative process between artists and scientists from a wide variety of disciplines, including biology, chemistry, computer science, and engineering. The man behind the idea of a nanotech museum is Professor Yuval Garini, the former head of the institute. We are standing here at the Nanotechnology Center, which is very unique. Uh, it's a very special center worldwide, but also in Israel. It's one of the biggest and most advanced nanotechnology centers. And for me, art and science is, is so enjoyable. It gives so much satisfaction. It, it increases the depth of the understanding of what we are doing here. The marriage of art with science has led to some fascinating results. In this work, artist Ailey Levy coated a spoon in a super hydrophobic material that was developed at the Institute. Working together with scientist Professor Shlomo Margel was an inspiring experience. There is a lot of creativity in science. Creativity is not taboo and does not belong solely to the realm of art, but exists within everyone. I think there is a lot of imagination between artists and scientists because a good scientist and a good artist they have to, to do inventions. Sparking this kind of interdisciplinary dialogue was in fact one of the main goals of the museum. Usually when people from different disciplines, especially creative disciplines, are meeting, they find a way, a new way to think and this new way is actually creating a new language. Unlike traditional museums, the art here is exhibited in between research labs and meeting halls. Like this work by artist Mohamed Kais, which was created in collaboration with Professor Adi Salomon. My lab is working with uh, the artist Mohamed Kais. He's also dealing a lot with uh, geometrical structures, as we do. We design geometrical structures in, ma in metals, inside metal. That these geometrical structures actually trap the, the light, the light energy, uh, onto the surface. From my point of view, art is part of science. Uh, it's also nice to enjoy, to look at the things, to learn. You can learn science uh, through art. From Bar Ilan University in Ramat Gan, Maya Margit reporting for the Media Line. News needs trained journalists. The Media Line, the first American nonprofit news agency covering the Middle East, has mentored scores of students from prestigious American universities and around the globe. We are one of the best kept secrets. Universities are partners, students receive credit. In order to bring you trusted news, we need support for our future journalists. Please make your tax deductible gift today. Go to themedialine.org.